here and in today's video i will be showing you guys how to make the night vision look you guys saw in the beginning for it looked pretty cool so uh, i wanted to share it with you guys and if you guys want to support me i have a website feel free to check that out i have some editing packs there that could improve and make your editing easier let's get right into this tutorial here so the first thing we're going to do is to add a clip here and I'm using a clip from Summers. Just uh, use whatever clip you guys want and after that we're going to make a adjustment layer uh, in here. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y and here we're going to add noise and I'm going to set the noise amount to 15% and then uncheck use color noise. I'm also going to add four color gradient and here I'm going to use this lime color here. So you're going to copy that one to all of the other color positions here. Just like that. And then you're going to set the blending mode to darken. So you get something like this. And this already looks pretty good here. So you got the noise here. And then you got the four color gradient here. Pretty clean. But we're also going to add CC lens. And I'm going to set the size to 40. And the convergence to minus 6. And now we're going to add transform and zoom into this. So you're going to set the scale to 223. And then I want to make some more movement to this effect here. So I'm going to add Sapphire Shake here. And I'm going to set the amplitude to 0.2. And the frequency to 20. And this looks pretty default, uh, this effect here. And if you guys are just fine with this, you can mark all of the effects here. Boom. Go to save animation, save animation preset. And then you have a like default a night vision CC, I guess I could call it. But I want to make this more realistic. So I'm going to pre-compose these two layers here. Pre-compose them. And here we're going to make a full screen VHS effect. So it's basically going to be VHS, but it's going to be like stretched out uh, to a FHD format. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Press Ctrl V and pre-compose it again on the upper one here name it chroma and the one below and name it luma just like that and we're going to start off with the chroma layer here so you're going to open it up and here we're going to open up the composition settings and i'm going to set the width to 40 pixels and the height to 480 just like that press ok and you're going to press s here on the layer to Get up the scale options and i'm going to set the scale here to 2.8 percent and the other one here to 45 percent and after that i'm going to go back to our composition here and then open up luma and here as we did before open up the composition settings and set the width to 320 and the height to 480 so you get something like this here and then again press s on the layer change up the scale here uncheck the link here so you can type in two different percentile scales here the scale on the left here is going to be 22.5 and the other one on the right should be 45 percent go back to your main composition and here we're going to change the composition settings as well so you're going to open it up and here set the width to 854 and the height is going to be 480 the frame rate should be 15 and that should be good and the scales here is going to be on the chroma one press s uncheck the link there and set the left scale to 2140 percent and then go to luma press s again here set the left scale to 267.5 percent and then you're going to change the blending mode on chroma to color and it should look something like this now I think this looks a lot more cooler and realistic. And then you're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here you're going to add fast box blur. Set the blur radius to 1. And then check repeat edge pixels. You're also going to add on a sharp mask. And here set the amount to 100. The radius to 4. And then add add grain. Set the intensity to 0 0.5. And then choose final output on viewing mode. And then we're going to add wave warp. You're going to set the wave type to smooth noise, wave height to 3, direction to 0, wave speed to 4, and then anti-aliasing quality is going to be high. So now you get something like this here. Looks a lot better. And then we're going to add one more adjustment layer above. Ctrl Alt Y. 
and here we're going to add flickers and I'm going to set the amount here, the amplitude amount to 1, and that should be good. You don't need to have the flicker one, but I think it looks pretty pretty cool with the night vision uh, effect here. And after that, you can pre-compose all of the layers here. Boom, name it night vision. And here we're going to make a new shape layer. Go up to rectangle tool, press Q, 1, 2, so you get the ellipse tool. Hold shift and then drag out the circle here to get something like this maybe. And then go to align tab, make sure it's centered, then open it up and here scale it up a little bit more, go to align again and uh, yeah you're basically going to make your black edges here, rounded edges here. I think this is enough, it's going to look pretty good. So now when you're satisfied with the scale here, you are going to add gradation blur and here I'm going to set it to 25, I think that looks good. And then in order for this to work, you're going to go down to here, the matte option here and then choose alpha matte on the shape layer. Now you guys get something like this here. And then after that, you're going to add the adjustment layer, control alt y, and here add JPEG damage. And I'm going to set the quality to 0 0.425, and then the error rate to 0 0.001. Set the error block density to one as well. Error amplitude to 0 0.26 error coherence to 3.93 and that should be good just to get a little low quality effect here looks a lot more realistic yeah that's how you made the night vision uh, default effect i guess but you remember guys that i showed you two versions and if you want to make the like other version you can just go into night vision here to the adjustment layer above here we had flickers on and here add invert and you're going to drag the invert effect above the S flicker here. And then on channel choose green. And you will get something like this here. This is how it's going to look now instead. Looks pretty pretty cool. So yeah that's how you made the two night vision looks. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe. And if you have any new ideas and tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. And don't forget to check out my website, check out my socials, join my Discord server. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.